President Trump is also urging Republicans in Pennsylvania to fight a new congressional district map drawn up by the Democrat-controlled state Supreme Court. The redrawing of that map could have big implications for the midterm elections and is seen now as a big win for Democrats. Senior correspondent Eric Sean tells us where things stand right now. Pennsylvania Republicans charge the fix is in after the state Supreme Court redrew the Keystone State's congressional districts. But Democrats say the court's move simply erases a current map that has long unfairly favored the GOP. The court found by a four to three ruling, the current map was, quote, aimed at achieving unfair partisan gain. But the new map cuts the number of districts that President Trump won from 12 to 10 and increases the number of districts that Hillary Clinton could have won by two. That prompted President Trump to tweet, quote, Hope Republicans in the great state of Pennsylvania challenge the new push congressional map all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary. Your original was correct. Don't let the Dems take elections away from you so that they can raise taxes and waste money. The state's Republican chairman, Val DiGiorgio, says he will challenge the new map in court. This is a blatant power grab by a Supreme Court that seems hell-bent on drawing more Democrat seats as opposed to applying with the Constitution. And all Americans, certainly all Pennsylvanians, should be concerned about uh, this overreach by the courts. DiGiorgio says only legislatures, not courts, can redraw district lines. But Democrats praise the ruling, saying it eliminates gerrymandering like this district, nicknamed Goofy, kicking Donald Duck. Was the old map tilted? It was. It was very tilted. Election expert Michael Lee of the Brennan Center for Justice says the new map does create a more even playing field. Somebody put their thumb on the scale in a pretty heavy way. Um, you know, that's just not very natural in a state like Pennsylvania. Um, you know, this is Pennsylvania, in other words, isn't Nebraska, where you've got like dark red areas and, and things like that. It's not Utah. Um, this is a state that's a classic battleground and that you would expect to be very competitive. It just wasn't under the old map. Democrats, he notes, also draw congressional districts that favor them, like in Maryland. But as a result of the ruling in Pennsylvania, he says Democrats there could go from holding five seats now to almost doubling that number. Brett? Eric, thank you.